Let's stop and see this qualitative model for legal risk in action. We will draw a risk plot. We want to common size two different legal risks and show them on a single visualization. This visualization will show the qualitative risk model we designed as part of our risk framework. This is a simple exercise that you can draw by hand. Start by drawing an X and Y axis. Label the X axis likelihood. This will accommodate our likelihood scale we saw earlier. Label the Y axis consequences. This will accommodate our consequences scale. Yes, you can reverse the axes if you want. Now let's add tick marks for our scale. Our five point scale goes from zero to four. We will leave zero at the starting point. Uncertainty is a topic covered in the process section. Number the tick marks for easy reference. Do the same for consequences. Now that we have a chart, we've drawn a chart representing an important part of the risk framework. Let's plot a couple of legal risks to see it in action. Imagine that there is a potential breach of contract risk. After some risk analysis, covered in the process section, we conclude that it is less likely than not and rate the likelihood a 2. Based on the size of the contract and the liquidated damages clause, we rate the consequences 1 as insignificant or immaterial. There is also potential employee litigation. Based on our jurisdiction and the nature of this claim, we rate the consequences as significant or a 3. Fortunately, we have good reason to believe that there is not much chance the employee would prevail on the question of liability, so we think the risk is unlikely and rated a 1. Now we can see both risks on one chart. Even though the legal risks are quite different, we can compare them effectively. Later, this chart will show our risk tolerance policy and our uncertainty, so we can focus our risk management resources where they will deliver the most benefit. This simple exercise begins to reveal the power of a qualitative risk model for understanding our portfolio of legal risks.